Good morning. In today's genetics class, our topic of discussion is cell cycle, mitosis, and meiosis. So, I believe that you people are aware that all organisms, even the largest, start their life from a single cell. Each and every organism, multicellular organism in our start their life from a single cell. And to understand that, we need to know that growth and reproduction are the characteristics of cell, irrespective of their, of their type, type, uh, species, genus, etc. So all the cells produced by dividing into two, with each parental cell giving rise to two daughter cells each time they divide. So when a cell is divided into two daughter cell, the next step is that two daughter cell is going to get mature and again divided into four daughter cells. So this division, cell cycle and growth is come together in such a way that it produces a million of millions of cells. So let's see, to begin our class, I just want to give you a visual effect that how a cell is divided. So this is a pictorial view or image of a cell divided into two daughter cells. Now, what is cell cycle? So cell, before going for the definition of cell cycle, we need to understand that the different processes like DNA replication, cell growth, cell division, these all are occurring in such a manner that finally it produces two progeny. So the main purpose of cell division is to produce two progeny cells. And again, that two progeny cells produce next line of progeny cells. So in this way, the process is going to get going to continue. And the sequence of these events by which a cell duplicates its genome, synthesis the other constituent of the cells and eventually divided into two daughter cells is termed as cell cycle. So, this term growth, this growth is a continuous process because we never, we never leave these characteristics growth from since the formation of a single zygotic cells <coughs> from two germ cells. The, the, in the, the event of growth, growth is begin. And in case of human or animal, the growth is getting slower down with the time. But in case of plant, they grow until they die. So that is why this cell growth is a continuous process and with the growth of cell, DNA synthesis also occurs in a specific stage. So the replication of chromosome are then distributed. This replicated chromosome, this two newly formed chromosome are then distributed to daughter nuclei or daughter cell by a complex series of events, and we call this event is cell division. So this is the different phase of cell cycle. So it's begin with the G phase. So G means the gap, S means the synthesis, and G, so G1 is the gap one, and G2 is the gap two, and M is the M is mitosis phase. 
so after the end of m phase a single parent cell mother cell is produced to daughter cell and then again this to daughter cell will enter into the g1 phase so this g1 h and g2 phase cumulatively called or known as interphase so in a broader way we divide cell cycle into two different phases one is interphase another is mitotic phase that mitotic phase is also called the division phase fine so the purpose of g1 phase is to produce the required materials required proteins required constituents which is needed for the synthesis phase or s phase so in s phase what is going to get synthesized the thing which is going to get synthesized is dna so in s phase the main purpose is dna synthesis we call it the process of dna replication so after s phase the total content or total amount of genetic load or total content of chromosome is going to get doubled so as we all know that we are a diploid individual that means in each of each and every cell of us contain two n number of chromosome so whatever the organism or developed organism is we we actually see in our surrounding each and every organism is a diploid organism so in diploid organism we we have two n number of chromosome so if that cell is going to get divided into two two daughter cells the two n number of chromosome also need to get increased so need to get doubled into four n so this s phase is actually multiple increasing the that the total number of chromosome in a doubled manner so after s phase the total dna content or total genetic load of of a particular cell is doubled then comes the g2 phase or the gap 2 phase the gap 2 phase is responsible for the production of whatever the cell, cell constituents require for the mitotic phase because once a cell enter into the mitos mitotic phase the fate of that cell is to divide is to divide and produce two progeny so now in some different cells or in some adult animals the 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 division is quite uncommon like our heart cell like our neuron cell in majority of our body epithelial cell actually replaced when they are damaged or they are injured by a new set of cells but but these kind of cells like heart cell or nerve cell they do not appear to exhibit the division process these these cells do not divide when they enter into the g1 phase after entering into the g1 phase they are not able to cross that g1 phase so they get trapped into them into a prolonged g1 phase and we call it a g0 phase of the cell cycle so these cells are actually getting trapped into a prolonged g1 phase that is why they are not able to divide and produce a new set of progeny cells so but these cells are metabolically active they are metabolically active until unless they are metabolically active they are not able to produce energy they are not able to function whatever the physiological function that cell have 
but their ability of proliferation their proliferative ability is getting lost now if we just go through these questions that mitotic division what is mitotic division it is a cell division so when this mitotic division is needed when new cells are needed or new new cells are going to get produced then this mitotic division is needed where the mitotic division is mainly occurred in somatic cells of the body and this division is responsible for the cell growth now from that cell cycle what we have crossed this one in the m in that m phase there are four different kind of sub phases are there and it starts with the prophase pro means beginning initial so the initial phase meta is the middle phase then anaphase telophase that means the end phase and then cytokinesis so that means the mitotic division is actually divided into further divided into two part one is the nuclear division another is the cytoplasmic division so that nuclear division is again divided into four different parts of this prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase so the main objective of the prophase is to form a condensed chromosomal material so when the we if we observe a cell in an interface condition we are not able to observe any chromosome so chromosome is basically a particular condition of our genetic material which we observe in the in the metaphase condition metaphase the condition of the cell division so in this prophase the main purpose of this prophase is to condense the genetic material so chromosomal material condenses to form compact mitotic chromosome and the chromosomes are seen to be composed of two chromatid each so in this picture you are able to observe a blue and a pink chromatid and pink chromatid each pink chromatid have two different thread two different threads are there so initiation of the assembly of mitotic spindle so spindle is needed for the cell division part to separate the chromosome the chromatids into different pole so initiation of spindle assembly microtubules and the proteinaceous component of the cell cytoplasm helps in the process next comes the metaphase next comes the metaphase so metaphase is the middle phase so in this middle phase the objective of the cell is to arrange in a middle part of the cell so and in this particular phase the chromatids are attached with the the chromosomes are attached with the spindle fibers in their centromere position in their centromere position and the spindle fibers are attached with the kinetochore the kinetochore is a structure which is associated with the centromere position of the chromosome so chromosomes are moved into the equator plate the equator plate of a cell and get aligned along the meta and that is why it is called the metaphase plate through the spindle fiber to both the poles there are three kind of spindle fibers which is present in the cell division phase 
One is the continuous spindle fiber, which arranged in a pole to pole manner. Another is the discontinuous spindle fiber, which, which actually connects the pole with the chromosome. And the third one is the intermediate spindle fiber, which is present in the centromere part of the chromatid, which helps the chromosome in its separation process. So, in anaphase part, the chromat, the chromosomes are getting splitted into its centromere position and chromatids are getting separated. And this chromatid start move towards the pole. And these movement is basically possible or phallicis facilitated with the help of the spindle fiber. Now, in the last phase, that is telo phase, that what happens? Chromosome have already reached into the poles and they are again getting decondensed. So the water, water content of the cell is again getting increased and they lost their specific chromosome structure and form a discrete thread-like structure. Again, nuclear envelope is formed around the nuclear material along with the production of or separation of along with the production of nucleolus and other nuclear component also golgi material and erythroplasmic reticulum and other cellular substructure are getting produced and after this particular phase the third that's the last phase is the cytokinesis the cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm. So after telo telophase actually ends with the invagination of this cell membrane. And after that, the cytokinesis process, these in this the membrane are begin to constrict and it separates or it actually produces to different daughter cells. So now we need to look at the different significance of mitosis. So mitosis or the equational division is usually restricted to diploid cells only. I have already mentioned earlier that to being a diploid cell, we need, we actually need the process of mitotic division. But in some lower plants or some insects, Haploid cell can also be divided by mitotic process. So mitosis actually results the production of diploid daughter cells with the identical genetic component. So that, that is why they are actually helped in the cell growth process. So that is why the result of this mitotic division is the growth. And the cell growth results in distributing the ratio between the nucleus and cytoplasm. And it is therefore becomes essential for the cell to divide and also to restore their nucleocytoplasmic ratio. So the number of nuclear number of chromosomes is equivalent to the amount of gen, amount of nuclear material and amount of cytoplasm. So that ratio is going to get restored after the cell division process of mitotic cell division process. A very significant contribution of mitotic cell repair. Mitosis is cell repair. So if a particular portion of our skin epithelial cell is damaged in some way, the damaged portion of the cell is getting replaced by the new cells. And that is also possible because of this mitotic or mitosis cell division process. In case of plant, 
that mitotic division is a continuous process in the apical lateral meristematic tissues throughout their life now this is an example of mitotic division of mouse embryo cell so here you are going to visualize that a mouse or how a mouse embryo is getting produced it is produced 